so out again uh, out with the assault 71 we'll start with the goliath coil on and do fields down there this is next to the field that field there we found the room on before and we've got the pylons above so a bit of a challenge with interference and then we're going to change it around probably for a second video go into there which is where the old ruin is uh, we've got a sniper coil on the 23 centimeter dd with me as well so I'll probably swap onto one of those uh, when we go in there all right off we go down there then so i'm not doing this bit yet but i'm not sure if you can see uh from video the contours of this sort of like uh, i think it could have been a stream bed or something in the past i think what coming off the hills and there's a spring sort of halfway up there at least what i think it is I think it's come down here and gone down there so it's been like potentially old waterway they're long enough to explain that Wilburn coin? Possibly. I'm going to do the bottom of this field here though first. Along there, see if we find anything. Okay, first signal. Pretty stable, but quite loud. And the pinpointer says it's not too far, not too far from the surface, so could be trash, we'll give it a whirl, find out. Not very deep at all. Piece of flattened worked lead of some description. Plenty of works here's any pattern on it, but I'm not sure there is. So next signal, about 30 feet away from the last. Almost exactly the same I target ID. Let's see what it is this time. And this bit's more modern. Not sure it's, it's not lead either, I don't think. No. Looks like a clasp or something or something like that. Right, next signal is very much like the uh, last couple in terms of target IDs, but <coughs> looks like it's actually a coin. Looks like one of George's, George the fifth. There you go, first coin of the day, George the fifth penny. Uh, I haven't moved down into that bottom uh, field yet, so I just saw this rather large old tree. So I'll see if anybody's ever sat underneath it. Seem that they have. And another decent signal or decent ish. There you go, settle down a bit. Very similar to the last few though, of which uh, one was lead, one was some clasp or something, one was a coin. So what this one is. Yeah, unfortunately, this one was a bottle top. Right, almost in the bottom edge of this field, uh, which is the very furthest point on this permission. Uh, you can just see at the top there the uh, ruins of the abandoned building that I found before that will be in later on hopefully. Uh, the reason for being down here is that over there is an old, uh, about a field over is an old coaching route dating back to the 1600s, maybe a bit earlier. Um, also rumoured to have been a Roman road, although the evidence that seems um, pretty... Um, uh, scarce to say the least, um, so I'm not sure if it was or wasn't, but then again, did find a Roman coin up at the top of that field, so who knows, maybe. So anyway, uh, old coaching route, Roman potential road, all about 100 yards away from this bottom corner, so have a look around before we do some of the ruin later on. Uh, one of the things that you often find with farming is grizzly discoveries. Uh, Things like you know, dead animals, uh, birds that have been caught by foxes, things like that. And here we have another one, looks like uh, an ear off a sh cow or something, maybe. Anyway, it's definitely flesh with um, fur still on it. Eww. Okay, a little bit of lead, could be a pot man, could be a bag saw actually, about the right size, maybe a bit too big for a bag saw. signal, it's in the hole somewhere. It was very faint on the surface. It's a bit all over the place, but let's see what we find. And down the bottom, about six inches down, seven inches down. It looks like an old button, a button. Uh, on top or something. It's very thin, looks quite old. Give it a quick clean uh, later, see if there's anything to that. Interesting. Lots of lead in this field. The colour of it, quite old lead. 
Right, next up, an old hinge of some description. Well, my little bracket hinge there. Right, next up, uh, end of a spoon bracket, handle of a spoon. Right, next up, about six inches down, looks like an old tag of some description, a label. Looks quite older. Uh, I'll give it a brush, see if there's any writing on it, but it doesn't look like it looks blank. Quarry down here, one of the quarries of stone. These are pretty big, I wonder if they were gate posts at some point. Quite conceivable. Massive though. Oh, markers in some other way. Anyway. Now heading up the uh, side of this here, the lane here, it used to go down to the um, coaching lane at the bottom and intersect it about 200 yards further down. So walking up the side here, we're going to go up towards the uh, derelict building. I don't know what it is about this property in spoons, but I get spoon handles all over the place, different fields, spoon handles. And you, there's another one, by look at. Next up is what looks like an old uh, musket ball or similar, pistol maybe. Uh, 